Oh my God, I have to tell you all how lucky I feel, especially after my last several videos, which are explaining difficulties in my life. Just wanna say I'm just so stoked to have this sewing studio. How lucky am I? Oh, by the way, hi, PMB, are you in the sewing studio? So yeah, um, I'm here in the sewing studio. I'm doing some work on these uh, strips. So these strips, are for some hippie patchwork bell bottoms. And I have a customer who um, wanted something bright for Florida. And I just happened to be making these for fun. And I think these might work for her project. So that would mean that project's half done. Anyway, super happy about that. And working on um, a, another pair of custom jeans for a lady that are already bell bottoms. And I'm gonna make them more bell bottoms with Rasta colors and other funky colors like that so really stoked been making hats um there's a couple of them there the uh denim tams just love it that one says give thanks on it and then the t-shirt tams been sewing a lot and having fun doing it and i'm just so happy to have this studio the thing is The lady moved out of this one already and it's available again. Oh my God, <laughs> so hard, right? This one has a window and it's much lighter during the day. It has a door, I could put a curtain there. And, you know, I think I could really do a lot with this space. That'd probably be the photography area because um, it's sort of the best lighting. There's certain shadows um, in here that make it difficult to do it in certain areas. But um, this is this open studio now again. Uh, it's been open three times. This is the third time now I've had an opportunity to get in here and considering it, you know. So it's $325 a month, which is more than I'm paying now for mine, which is $200. Um, but it's its own space. And now that I can have my dog in here sometimes... Just to, I won't have her in here if a bunch of people are in here, you know, like if my neighbor. Um, you know, it's its own space there. And I could just imagine it all set up. Um, I can hang dresses here or even do more with that, you know. And Bambi's bed would be there and a comfortable chair there, I think. And then my big cabinet there to cover most of that. And then the sewing tables there and there. One of the concerns is who's gonna end up in here next, you know? And then, you know, we all have to work together. And the lady that was there was kind of amazing. She made handmade clothing, like tour clothing, like I do. Uh, music festival clothing, sort of. She made overalls in different colors and patterns. And she was going to a Billy Strings show when I met her. And then she came back and then all her stuff was gone. And I don't know what happened and it sucks. Um, because that would she would have been a good neighbor, I think, to have. Anyway, kind of scared about who might come in next. Who's a good girl? My pretty girl. <laughs> all right, so I better get back to work. Just wanted to let you all know how grateful I feel about my life. Um, this setup here, having this studio is such a great opportunity for me to earn more money and just, I love building up my store with a lot of different handmade clothes. I like it to be like a gallery, you know, and it's fun and it's awesome. And I'm really excited about the new hats I'm making gonna be making more of the hats with this these plaid fabrics plaid hats come on that's gonna be so cool so I'm really excited about having this space and feeling good about it um, yeah, I'm so lucky I'm so lucky this is gonna work out in in its own good time that I'll get the right vehicle and I'll envision it um, I mean, I'm already, and then I'm envisioning a little cabin too, so that, that could happen. But it's all going to be uncivilized. <laughs> you know, we're going to be at 5,000 subscribers soon.
cannot tell you how long I've waited to be at 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. And when I started, I wasn't trying to do anything. I don't know, I just thought it was cool, I guess. It was like a diary. I don't know. I always wanna be in front of the camera. You must know that about me by now, but ever since I've been trying, I've been wanting to get to 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, by the way, cheers. Oh, good. Look at that beautiful thing. Thank you, everyone, for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos. Take it easy. <laughs> Take two. Take it easy. Take three. Take it easy. Take four. Take it easy. Take it easy. Don't let the sound of your own wheels drive you crazy. Oh yeah, I just realized it's Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking about something about death. And the reason is because it's Halloween. It made me start thinking about it. And I realized something I want to share with you right now. It's unbelievable. It's amazing. Now, in our lives, we're all seeking an answer to a question, the great mystery. What are we doing here? What the heck's going on here? Where do we come from? Where are we going? What is this all about? Is there more to this life that comes after this life than is apparent? This great mystery. I mean, all of the religions are built on it, all of the philosophy, even the science. It's all going at what's going on here because we humans are inquisitive. We're self-aware. We're self-aware manifestations out of this whole manifestation, as far as we know, and I'm sure there's more parts of the manifestation that are self-aware, but we are self-aware. As self-aware entities, we're wondering, always contemplating where, what is this all about and where are we going? Well, guess what? I realized something about death. And death is what I thought, you know, I'm not a big holidays person. Um, I'm not, I'm just not a big holiday person. I don't like them. They're loud and obnoxious. You have to visit family. No, I'm just kidding about that one. Especially Halloween's not my favorite one. But when I look at it in terms of death and awareness of death, then it starts to, it gets me contemplating in a way where I want to honor death. Death's not a bad thing. Contemplate death. This is very important to do. And so in contemplating it, I realized something very significant. I realized this great mystery that we're all wondering about. No one can tell us. Nobody who's living can tell us the answer to this question. What does it all mean? You know, why am I here? Nobody can tell us, but guess what? When we die, we get to know the great mystery. We get to have the answer to this question. This question gets answered for each and every one of us when we die. It's death that brings this to us and nobody else can tell us for sure. And everybody says they can, but we or I and I alone when I die get the answer to the great mystery. What, what's it all about? And for those that would argue or let us consider the other possibility that there's no meaning to any of this, nothing happens after you, simply your energy and your physicality goes back into the matrix, back into the, you know, either the one consciousness or uh, materially speaking, you rot back into the ground and go back into the resource space, right? It's all a cycle and all of that's true. But if nothing else happens, then that answers the question too, though you won't be there to realize the answer of it, but then it won't matter anyway, right? But if you are there to realize the answer of it, you'll have the answer to the greatest mystery of the universe. And all of us, each one of us is promised that when we die. So then I'm looking at death going, wow. Death is such a gift when it happens and it's inevitable. So we might as well accept it. And that's part of what living is all about is accepting that. And as part of accepting the great cycle 
and flow of things. The, the, uh, the fact of change, the transformation of things. That's what's happening here. It's all just transforming. You know, when you have your children, it's a transformation of you and your mate into this new entity that's carrying you along with it. It's a transformation. Um, whether it's just on a material level or also on a spiritual level or a consciousness level. And everything here in our experience is transforming all the time. So when we die, obviously that's part of that. But there's this great mystery. And guess what? We get the answer to it. Isn't that amazing? Thank you so much. I love it. So this was my realization, you know, for the holiday. So I'm wishing you a, a happy Halloween. Halloween. Probably happy belated Halloween. Take care, y'all. Don't be afraid of death. I just realized it's when we finally get the answer. 